G'day folks. Lately, over the last couple of days, I've been rereading the OCS rulebook in moments, and I've got OCS Korea sitting on my table. It's not set up yet, but it's it's just out of reach over here. And I've been thinking, thinking cautiously about maybe, maybe, maybe getting back into the Operational Combat series by Dean Essig, Multi-Man Publishing. Um, so I've been shopping around for a few more titles, um, and I've been kind of looking, okay, where am I going to go with this? Where can I take OCS? Korea, Tunisia, Burma. I've been kind of thinking, because I've been playing Stalingrad 42, and I'm about to play Compass Game, Greg Blanchett's Fort Blau. I was thinking, okay, could I ever actually play Case Blue, OCS? And so I started shopping around, looking around. I found one copy for 1400 Australian dollars. I thought there's no way I'm paying that much money for for Case Blue. Um, and it got me thinking, okay, and I posted online, not not in not a video, but in the community um, posts section of the channel. And I asked, I mentioned this, I said, you know, how do you feel, given that the title is out of print, the publisher is no longer selling it, they're not going to make any money from this. Um, it's only the second-hand market, a very limited and insanely expensive second-hand market, which I've never subscribed to. How do people feel about the ethics of playing a game, such an old and out-of-print title, without actually on, on Vassal, without actually me owning a physical copy of the game? Um, when I play in Vassal, the games I play are games that I, I, I physically own. I'm not comfortable playing games on Vassal that I don't own. But Case Blue has got me thinking, um, what are the ethics of this? Um, and I asked people, how do you feel? Do you ever actually play these old inaccessible games on Vassal if you don't actually own them? 80% of people in the poll said yes, they are comfortable. They felt it was fair to play such old games like this on Vassal that they don't actually own. Um, it's the same when people, a lot of people said, you know, it's like when you play a, a game with a friend. You know, only one player has the copy. You both don't need to own the copy of the game. And some people generously, a couple of people said, oh, well, I'll let you play my copy of Case Blue on, on Vassal. Now, that might be a pipe dream. I may never get to that point, but it's just got me thinking about Vassal and, and gaming. And I've been thinking also recently about other games that are out of print or unavailable and how I think publishers, war game publishers, are missing an opportunity here to package together digital players kits in effect. So I've got four blow next to me here and I've got the you know, player aid sheets out ready to go. When I play on Vassal, I like I kind of like to have the physical um, play aids with me. It's the same with a lot of the Mark Simich games. Here I've got um, uh, Battalion Combat Series sheets sitting next to me. I like to have physical things when I play. But I thought, well, why can't publishers put these together and sell me a digital player's kit for these rare out of print games. How hard would it be to take the Case Blue Player Aid cards, Player Aid sheets? You wouldn't need much more than that. Um, a summary of play, sequence of play. You wouldn't need the rule book. Um, the PDF copies are available. You wouldn't need the maps. You wouldn't need the counter sheets. Just package together those Play Aid charts and sort of like a digital license or a, a license to play online. Um, you don't need to go through legal terms, just kind of like giving you ethical clearance to make you feel not so guilty for playing these games on Vassal. If MMP, for example, were to sell a digital copy of Case Blue, 10, 20, 30, 40, $50, I would probably pay 40 to $50 for such a package. If it kind of, if it gives me a copy, and they could box it up if they want, or put in a folio, um, a Ziploc bag, post it out to me, give me my, my sheets. Um, you know, they could make money off that. It's, it's, it seems to be really easy money. I can't imagine it being a really onerous production cost to print off a dozen cardboard sheets for a game, packaged together, Put on a nice little, you know, front cover label on them, case blue. Take that from a JPEG they've got somewhere, and sell it. And I can tell you, I would buy a good many copies of these various um, 
digital players kits. I, I like to try games in person before I play. Um, I like you know, most games, the vast 99.9%. .9%. I think North Africa 41 is the only game that I haven't played physically on the table before I've gone to Vassal online. But I, I very frequently come to Vassal and, and, and more so frequently. Um, and it seems that this is a, a broader trend as well. It'd also be good for players who have a friend who has a physical copy. So if you're playing Case Blue and a friend has a physical copy of the game but you've got nothing, well, you could buy that digital player's copy to have your own sheets. Um, now again, only one, you know, they recommend that one person has a copy of the game, you don't need a second copy, but having that kind of tactile, having these charts with you, it's nice to be able to walk away from the game, study the charts, study the sequence of play, things like that. So this is a call to publishers to think about putting together digital players' kits, or the like, call it whatever you want, for some of their old, out-of-print games, the files must be available. We know they're available. They're on Vassal. Take the JPEGs, put them together, some nice cardstock, put them in a Ziploc bag, put a $20, $30, $40, $40 price tag on it, and let me know, and I'll come buy it from you. Um, it, it, it seems just, it seems a given, easy way to increase sales, at a relatively low production output. I'm not a marketing guru. <laughs> I'm not involved in gaming manufacturing. I'm a consumer, and I can tell you I would consume these products left, right, and center for many of these older games that are out of print. It is, and again, over the past week, I've been looking at OCS. It is so hard to find OCS titles anywhere. USA, yeah, you guys are lucky you've got heaps. There are none in Australia. There are no OCS, OCS titles available for sale in Australia. Or if you're selling OCS, let me know. Hit me up in the comments section and I'll, I'll come chasing you up for a copy. So that's just what I want to say. It's a bit of a rant, a bit of a call to arms for our, our publishers out there. I hope, uh, hope someone takes up the call and uh, yeah, hit me up when it hits your pre-order page. Thanks everyone for watching and take care.